How's it going everybody? Over the past few months, I've left a lot of questions unanswered, made a lot of people mad, and I don't want to toot my own horn, but kind of broke the internet. We've messed with a lot of people's heads, lost a few subscribers, but I am happy to inform you that we still have the 450L.
All right, I have a lot of explaining to do. What the hell went on the past few months? First and foremost, I hope you all are excited to see this bike. It's been a long time coming and it was very hard for me to keep this from you. This is not the way that I intended things to be, so I'm just gonna start from the beginning on why this thing is still around and why it left in the first place. So you heard some of this in the Husky 350 video, but I'll get into that later. But about four months ago, I came out with a video titled Buying My Dream Bike. We drove down to West Virginia and picked up this beautiful 2019 CRF 450L. I was coming from the 250L and really wanted something more capable for the trails and to grow as a rider. And this was really the unicorn bike for me. And I knew I had to get my hands on one at some point. Over a year ago, I had released a video saying why the CRF 250 L was better than the 450L and a lot of those points still stand true but more of that was just focused on the money aspect. Performance wise we all know that this is a more capable machine and because mainly I just do trail riding now this made a lot more sense. So we made the trip to West Virginia. I made that video. It did really well. Everybody was excited and boom nothing. The following month, two, three up until now you guys haven't seen this bike. Now the original reason for that is that I was building the shop and I just didn't have a lot of time to dedicate to the bikes, nor did I have a you know safe place to store them, so I wanted to get the shop done. And that was really a motivating factor to get the shop done, was having this staring at me in that living room every single day. So that's the main reason why this thing went into hiding. At first I had told you guys and girls that that was the reason, but I just got so many messages every day asking about this thing, where it went. And finally I was like, you know what, I gotta say something. So I had just said I got rid of it. I told everybody that I sold it, traded it for the Helix, this, that, the other. It just became a big joke. And I apologize if it offended anybody, but let's be honest guys, it's just a bike, it's a material object. And yeah, I just said I got rid of it, honestly, to get a lot of people off my back and get that pressure off because I was just tired of answering people and tired of hearing about it, man, because trust me, I wanted to ride this thing, I wanted to enjoy it, but I just had other priorities that I had to get done first, and we did, and I'm really glad that I did it this way. It made it so much more rewarding, and that leads me to my next point. What the heck happened to the FE 350 that you just bought, said you loved, this, that, and the other? Well, technically, I never said I bought it. If any of you caught that, I never claimed to have bought that, owned that, etc. It pretty much just appeared and we had some fun on it. So shout out to my buddy Gramatron for that. Check out his channel if you haven't already. But he went out and bought himself a 2020 Husqvarna FE350 and was kind enough to drop it off with eight miles on the odometer for me to test out, enjoy, and mess with some people some more. But I was gonna review that bike at some point anyway, so I thought why not just keep this joke going and uh, I'm sorry once again if that offended you. But you know what, it's all in good fun. I've just had a plethora of different comments and different conspiracy theories on why I got rid of this. I'm broke, this, that, the other. It was too much bike for me. And it was really hilarious and I enjoyed some of it. So why after all this time is the 450L finally here and here to stay for a little bit? Honestly, along with me building the shop, it was the weather. We just had such terrible weather and it's finally starting to dry up. Next week it's gonna be up into the 70s and 80s and it's looking pretty good. You know I went on a few trail rides. It's just been a complete mud pit, a disaster. All winter was nothing but rain, so I really just didn't have the conditions to enjoy this thing and I wanted to make this grand video that came along with it and that really didn't happen. I should have revealed it sooner, but I just was so deep into other things and this weighing over my head, so here it is. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you understand. Drop a comment down below if you thought I had it all along or you're completely surprised. I would love to know, but yeah. Here she is guys, the 2019 CRF 450L. So I am really excited to show you guys and girls this bike, what it can do, what it's capable of, and what my thoughts are about this bike. Two weekends ago, I took this thing on its maiden voyage beforehand, which will be in tomorrow's video. I had only ridden it at the farm once. It sat in my living room up until two weeks ago where I took it out around the farm, tested it out for the very first time, and I really liked it. Now that weekend was the maiden voyage. We took it down south to the trails and really broke this thing in. I was not easy on this. Even though this thing cost a lot of money, I mean, what, the MSRP is like 10 grand. I bought this thing to ride it. It is a dirt bike and I bought it to send it, to have fun, to test out and to show you 
you know, if it's worth the upgrade, what it's capable of, and ultimately that's what I'm going to do. So the first trail ride was an absolute success. Look forward to a bunch of different videos of me abusing this thing, letting other people ride it, and overall just getting my feet wet for the first time and the first time really riding a 450 for an extended period of time. I don't wanna to spoil too much, you're gonna to have to stay tuned for that, but in tomorrow's video, it's gonna be my first initial reaction to this bike, the first real fire up, the first time I had it in first gear. Like, it was an awesome experience, definitely worth the wait, but I hope you all are excited for this riding season because I have a lot of awesome content to bring to you. Obviously, it's finally here, so let me know what you want to see with this bike. I do plan on riding this in stock form for a while. If it's manageable with all the emissions crap, the fuel cutoff, all of that stuff, how I like it in the stock form. So I'm going to ride it for a couple months, probably the rest of the season in the stock form, and we'll go from there. Do I see myself keeping this long term? Uh, you know, I'll let you guys decide. A lot of you know what I really want. But we'll see how the rest of the season goes. I definitely want to get a more dedicated, lighter weight dirt bike. But this thing is a lot of fun, huge step up from the 250L, capability-wise off-road. It's awesome having a capable suspension. I can finally hit some jumps. It's lighter than the 250L, which is nice, especially with having the extra power, but it's still a pig compared to a lot of dirt bikes. I don't want to give too much away before these videos, but a few initial opinions on this bike. I love the power. It's very manageable for me. The suspension is great. I need to adjust the clickers, crank it up a bit, stiffen it up. I have the stock tires off of the Husqvarna FE350 on here, which are absolutely amazing. Nice, soft compound. So very capable tire setup. I bought this with a few mods already done to it, and I've done a few mods myself already. The skid plate and radiator guards, I'll have a video on that soon, but we bought it with the Tusk Rack Seat Concept Seat, Sycra hand guards, which are a must. But so far, this thing has been an awesome bike. I can't wait to show you all. So leave a like if you're excited to finally see this thing, or a dislike if you're angry at me. You know, a lot of people are probably mad about this, but she's here. She's here to stay for a little while. Subscribe if you're new and you wanna see some 450L content. I do daily uploads here on the channel, so there's plenty of content to be found. Hit that bell, because YouTube likes to be shady. Thank you all for the support. I love you guys and girls out there, and until tomorrow's video, I'll see you then. on that one too.
There's gonna be a lot of outtakes from this one. All clear. Did you really? Yes, there, it was like over here and I was flying and it just started, it jolted right in front of me. And then like when I slowed down, it like went the opposite way.